YouTube, what is up? I know I have been so MIA on here, but this is a new camera. I literally had to buy myself a new camera just to give me the like umph, the boost to get back on YouTube. I miss you guys so much, but I don't know. Vlogging, what the hell is happening in my backyard? Vlogging was just like not fun anymore for me. So I was like, you know what will excite me? A new freaking camera. So this is the Canon G1X Mark III. It's kind of dope. This is my first time really even using it, but I took like one selfie of me yesterday and I was like, fire. So we're gonna be vlogging. Today is Wednesday, December 15th. This morning I went and got my lashes done. I usually get volume, but this time I went for hybrid and I'm really into it. They're like a little bit more wispy, but still really nice and full. Okay, so the camera just like shut itself off. Don't really know what the vibe is. The battery's charged, so hopefully this will be Hopefully this camera is good and doesn't continue to just shut off on me while I'm talking to you guys. But yeah, got my lashes done. Also, let's do a little mini Sephora haul because I went to Sephora yesterday, got a few things, and I'm excited to try them. Ooh, maybe we'll do a little get ready with me trying on the stuff. Okay, so I got the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand. I have been trying to buy this for like months and it's always sold out online, but I went to the mall yesterday and they had it in stock in Sephora. So I was very excited. I got the fair medium. Um, also got this from Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. It's like a really glowy kind of complexion product. I don't know if it's like a foundation or yeah. So I think I'm gonna use this as like a foundation, like as a layer under powder foundation. I feel like that'll work really nicely. Um, yes, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um, and then I also got the Fenty Beauty Concealer. I've never tried, actually, I, I really thought I tried tried this i don't know but i got did i try i like vaguely remember trying this but i don't remember if i liked it but i got the shade 140 because i saw my friend crystal use it and it looked amazing under her eyes um so i was like i need it <laughs> influenced by your influencer friends always um so we're gonna try that too and then this is the anastasia pro pencil i've been lately using um you know the Wet n Wild contour wand? I'm talking so fast because I'm used I'm used to trying to fit everything in like a one minute TikTok or like one minute of like Instagram stories. Let me, let me calm down. We got some time over here on YouTube. We got time. <sighs> Take a breath. <laughs> but okay, so lately, you know the Wet n Wild uh, contour highlight like duo stick. It's like a contour on one end, highlight on the other. Um, I use the highlight side to like carve under my brows, but that thing is clunky and like it's nice. But I wanted to try something else specific this is the sharpest pencil i have ever seen in my life wow love that um so i got this to carve under my brows basically is the moral of that story oh it's kind of dry but i kind of like that i think it's meant to be like an eyeshadow, eyeshadow primer and color corrector oh this is amazing okay so now i'm really excited to do my makeup oh i also got another a backup not a backup because i'm almost out of my brow freeze so i got another one wait a second did somebody already touch this i'm gonna be pissed Okay, it's fine. The box was like, these things were like turned in. So I was like, somebody is dead. I'm gonna spray some Lysol on this just to be safe. Um, but I got this because I'm running out of mine and I love it, I love it. I love the Refi Beauty one too, like the gel that you comb through. But I don't know, I just have my days. Some days I like this better, some days I like that better. And, my, and lately I've been really liking this. So the other one is running out, so I got a backup. But yeah, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I feel like I'm gonna hire an editor just to take that off of my plate so that I can give you guys more consistent videos. Um, but yeah, that's the vibe right now. I think I'm gonna go, ooh, I gotta very, very carefully wash my face because I can't get my lashes wet. So I'm gonna go do that and then let's do some makeup. Let's glam, bitches. Okay, so plot twist, it is several hours later and I have not gotten ready. And that is because I had to go get COVID tested and that shit took forever. So many hours. So I was like, listen, it's like late already. I don't feel like doing my makeup just to take it all off again. So tomorrow's like a full shooting day with Crystal and B. So I was like, let me just do my makeup in the morning, film that, and then make that part of this vlog. So literally so out of breath. I just ran up the stairs. But that's the vibe. I just got a new tripod in and it's like a little one, but it's like a tripod slash selfie stick, which is amazing because my little T-Rex arms can never hold my camera out at like, 
a good distance. So this is like perfect. But let me bring you, okay, so my office is messy as hell, but let's bring you to the mirror so you can see the situation. Okay, so this is the selfie stick. This is the new camera. So it's like mirrorless, but you know how the other, whoa, you know the other Canon like flips up? This one flips out. So it's more like a DSLR. Anyway, also this tripod, like you can stand it, comes out like that. It's really cool. I will link both of these in the description box. But they're a vibe. I'm very excited about this pur these purchases. I also just hired an editor, so I'm very excited about that. Brie, what's up, girl? Um, so this vlog will be professionally edited by my new editor, which I'm so excited about. Mamba. You're really interrupting my shot, baby girl. That's my dog. Um, I just got her, her new collar just came in because her harness, like her puppy harness literally broke. Not because she was too fat for it, but like the clip broke. I don't know what happened. Um, so I ordered her a collar. Let's see if she'll come to me. Mama, come. Hi, you're so pretty in your new pink collar. Good girl. Are you sleepy? I know it looks like it's tight, but it's really not. She just has a lot of rolls. And look, it's gold hardware because She's a goddess. Um, so yeah, that's all I got for you right now. I guess I will talk to you in the morning at the crack of dawn and we will get ready together and try out these new products. Is it smart of me to try out brand new products for a shoot day? Potentially not, but all these products are like supposed to be really good. So let us pray and I will talk to you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. Um, it's time to get ready. <clears throat> so I'm here. You tell I'm sleepy as fuck. Um, hi. Uh, I'm also really dehydrated. It's, <clears throat> it's 7.33. I'm gonna try to get my makeup done by 8 a.m. Because I gotta be out of here latest by 9. And then I still gotta do my hair, walk the dog, pack the bag for shoot day. So let's fucking go. Okay. Is it a good idea that I'm, one, filming this? to try new products no but we live on the edge over here you know what i mean so i guess since i got a new brow freeze i should work on using the one i have up so <clears throat> this room is a mess it's giving me anxiety <clears throat> so let's go in with brow freeze on the brows seriously this stuff is the shit i love it <clears throat> basically go on dry like you haven't put obviously skincare but this is like the first makeup product you put, put on your face and just take a spoolie and brush your brows straight up look at the fluff you'll love to see it wow gets me every time wow 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 and then take your finger and like press the eyebrow hairs into your skin and it'll keep them in place So, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, just gonna, we're gonna forget that ever happened. We're just gonna grab another one. Just got back from London, was there for a week. <clears throat> so, <laughs> you know how, like, when you go to Europe or like other countries, mostly Europe and Asian countries too, you have to, like, they have different, like, outlet plugs, so you have to get a converter. Well, I got like an adapter, but it wasn't like an electric converter. So I get to the hotel. My hair's frizzy as fuck because England is like, London is always, always rainy. So my hair's really frizzy. And I get there and I'm like, let me just touch up my hair. Okay, now uh, Anastasia Pro Pencil. This thing is so sharp. I gotta like wear it down a little because it's like scary. Um, I don't even know what angle to use this at because it's so sharp. Okay, I guess that works. Wasn't really what I was. Oh God. Um, <clears throat> I plug in the. I plug in my flat iron to the converter. I actually plugged in my flat iron and my curling iron at the same time because I was intending to use both. Um, yeah, they started overheating almost immediately and fried. So I was like, okay, well, I cannot go the whole week with just a blow dryer. Like my hair is super 
curly, super frizzy. I need like a hot tool. I cannot just get away with, especially like when it's raining, cannot get away with just a um, blow dryer. So I was like, cool, let's go to Boots, which is like a drugstore there and get, and just pray, hope and pray they have like some kind of affordable hot tool. So I get to Boots, they have a 40 euro flat iron. Turns out to be like literally the best flat iron I've ever used. 40 euros, I love it. It was by the brand Babyliss. Um, <clears throat> and she came in handy all week. Like seriously, she came in clutch. And then I get home and I'm like, okay, time to do my hair. I plug in my flat iron, plug in my curling iron. Neither one of those motherfuckers will turn on. I fried my very expensive T3 Micro flat iron curling iron. Just my luck. Um, but thankfully, 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 I recently got like a huge PR box from Amazon Beauty. So there was a GHD flat iron in that box. And listen, GHD is not my first choice and I'll tell you why because the motherfuckers only go up to 365 degrees. I'm sorry, but your girl right here needs 400 minimum. <laughs> I need like a minimum of 400 degrees of heat on my hair for it to like really behave. <laughs> so we're, we're just gonna have to rock with it. But I will say that the flat iron curls I did in London, they lasted me all week. Like I curled them that first day with the flat iron and I didn't have to curl them again until we got caught in the rain. It's raining there every day, but we got caught in the rain and my hair like got curly again. Like that was the only reason I needed to touch them up. I was really just touching up like the front of my hair and my bangs every day and it was amazing. So like I'm really into the flat iron curls right now is the moral of this really long story. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon, <clears throat> Revlon Color Stay Brow Tint. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but like it's it's really doing it for me. Um, it's like a little felt tip. It looks like a little liquid eyeliner, but yeah. Always keep your spoolie on hand to like blend brow products in your brow. Makes such a difference. Damn! I just really like this palette. I got this little, I got this little Lawless Cosmetics palette. It's called The Little One. And I don't know. The colors are like overly pigmented. Like they, they come out way darker than they look in the pan. I'm gonna try it again though because I don't know. It's feeling very, I'm feeling very self sabotage today, clearly. So, let's fucking go for it. Do I? You know what? I will, but I'm gonna start off with Bobbi Brown Toast, which I hit pan on. My favorite, like, transition color. Also, I'm using the Anastasia Pro Pencil as an eyeshadow primer. It said it was. It said on it that it was an eyeshadow primer, so. We're gonna test that theory out. I'm gonna go in with this baby right here. And we're going to do like a winged thing. I don't really know how to explain this, but just look closely, watch closely. <laughs> Um, now we're gonna go in with the dark brown, a little smudgy, and smudge her up. Smudge the bitch up. Okay. Actually, okay, yeah, I'm gonna go in with the black first. I'm all over the place. Oh, I'm gonna take the black eyeshadow, 
and give myself like a faux winged eyeliner. <laughs> and then, uh, this is the Frankation palette from Dosa Colors. This one right here, this like glitter, it's like the perfect eyeshadow topper for literally any look. You just take your finger and do like a little wash over the whole lid. Just a touch of sparkle. Adds so much cuteness to any look. And now we're gonna go in and clean up the outer corner under the eye and get any fallout. I told you you could be messy and basically when you do this just take like point it from the outer corner to the edge of your brow and just right up and then also because we use that brow freeze just make sure you wipe off any extra brow product around the perimeter of the brow because that shit will make your foundation look crusty. Trust me baby. Okay so let's try this new Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter thing. I think what I'm gonna do is layer it with the Fenty Beauty Skin Clamp because they're both like light coverage but I think together they will like build on top of each other well and the Fenty is matte where the <clears throat> Charlotte Tilbury is glowy and I think it'll be a good little balance but before we do that let us color correct with the Sensual Skin Enhancer by Kevin Kwan. They used to sell this at Sephora they no longer do. They literally only sell it on the Kevin Aquan website from what I've seen, which kind of sucks, but it's good stuff. I wouldn't really recommend anything else from Kevin Aquan, but this is a holy grail product for me. I will link everything I'm using in the description box for you guys. So don't even worry about Googling. I got you, girl. Every time I get my hair done, people are like, oh my God, did I burn you? It's a birthmark, people. Okay, so just under the eyes and on any like redness, blend it out real quick this is the elf total face sponge in my opinion 70 million times better than a beauty blender or any other sponge for that matter it's just the best once i started using this i never went back to a regular beauty blender oh, that was rude it is seven in the morning what the hell are you doing on a motorcycle and if you are a motorcycle keep it chill Keep it chill, please. Okay, so Hollywood Flawless Filter Charlotte Tilbury. I got the shade four medium. Comes in a little doe foot. I don't really know what we're in for here, but we're gonna just, did I get the right color? I don't even know. I don't even know. They didn't have many colors. Oh, okay. So this is very, very, very light coverage. But honestly, more coverage than I was expecting. I was really expecting it just to be like glow. But there's a little bit of coverage in here. Like I feel like if you layered up two layers of this and you really wanted to be super glowy, set it with a powder and you might be good. I ain't mad at it, y'all. I am not mad at it. But let's go in with <clears throat> Fenty Beauty Skin Tint. I use the shade five which is hysterical because i bought it in the summer i really wanted to try it right and there was only one shade left in the store i went and i got the shade 14 but low-key when i went to jamaica i got tan enough that it worked i don't know how i don't know don't know if i needed all that but <laughs> we're here now oh i take a concealer brush and i just carve out not even carve out, just like go in and do the perimeter of my brow just because like I want it to be nice there and a beauty blender is just, or like any beauty sponge is just too big to make that clean line so just do it first and then just quickly go in and blend out the edges of it and you're good to go Here she is. Okay, I have to open it. Squeegee. I usually use um, the milk baked matte bronzer stick, but this is way more compact 
and I hear people rave about this so much more, so I really wanted to try it. Uh, it Cosmetics like double-sided brush. Oh my god, she's gorgeous. She's gorgina. Oh my god, that blended out so easy, and it's so nice and thin. Oh yeah, I get the hype, I get the hype. They also make a darker shade of this, so that's good. I don't think milk does. I don't know how dark it actually is, to be honest with you, because they only had the one in stock in Sephora. Let's check it out. Earth. Okay, so now let's go in with the Fenty concealer I bought. I got the shade 140. I really do not remember if I've tried this before. <laughs> like, I vaguely remember it, but I don't know. I don't know. And then Crystal was like, Ashley, didn't you use, it, use this? And I was like, did I? Maybe. I, I'm a concealer whore, so like it's very likely. But well, we're gonna give her another go. Powder, Maybelline, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, the best of the best. I use the shade 10. <clears throat> will never use another powder. There has to be something revolutionary to change my life for me to get off this powder. It's been like two years straight of nothing else. Like I've been using this religiously pre-pandemic. It's a big deal. Ow, I just literally dunked the sponge in my eyeball. And I know what you're thinking, but Ashley, the Laura Mercier doesn't touch the Maybelline, let me tell you. This shit makes you look absolutely airbrushed and you basically do that right over your baking powder and like wipe it away while you're pressing it in i'm gonna go for kylie cosmetics today this is the tequila tan bronzer i always bronze with a dual fiber brush because it just blends it out so beautifully this the alma cosmetics blush palette i basically just get a little bit of all of them i really love this middle one it's hitting pan a little bit uh highlight and then that's going to be it because i like to wait until i get to the shoot location to do my lips so for i guess we can just use some morphe today Which highlighter should I use? I've been loving, remember Becca Opal? I had a little mini, kind of living for her. <clears throat> Let's do the inner corners. We need our glam, baby. And then a little fan brush just to do a light, a light highlight. We're not glazed donuts anymore. You know? Just a little, a little. Keep it bow action. A lip mask on. This one's really good. The Fresh Sugar Advanced Therapy Recovery Lip Mask. This is like my nighttime lip balm. I have several nighttime lip balms, but this is like my after skincare lip balm. There you go. This is the glam. She was quick, she was easy. It took us a little bit longer because we've been trying things out, but yeah, I'm gonna hurry up, get dressed, pack the bag, and then see if I have time to do my hair. I might just bring my flat iron with me and do it there. I think that's actually a smart idea. I'm gonna do that, okay. Um, but love you, mean it. See you at the shoot. <laughs> we are here. The gang's all back. The gang's here. Hi, guys. Thumbnail. Triple threat. Lex, come. She's like, don't. <laughs> do not. She said, do not. Wow, Ash. Right? You like? Wow, this you shit's nice. I made you one. You got you Amazon? Amazon? <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> it was refurbished too. What? Really? This dollars, oh, oh, god damn. But I like how the thing comes oh, to the shit. side. Me too. And look, wow. it has like a, it's like a bigger lens, I think. It, yeah. Yeah, cause I'm, bitch, I thought I was off the screen. I was still in here. Hold on, whoa. <laughs> that was scary. <laughs> Um, yeah, we're here at the shoot location. It's a beautiful, beautiful house in yes. like Westchester County. 
Um, we were all it's, it zoomed in on me. Um, <laughs> Get out of it. We were, She's talking and I'm like. We were a little alarmed because like we didn't expect anybody to be here. Oh, and he was just like in here on a Zoom was... meeting. But he's leaving now so we're all good. Um, also sorry I keep looking at the viewfinder not the lens. It's not going to change but I'll apologize for it now. <laughs> I'm going to keep doing it. Um, but isn't this beautiful? The vibes. Anyway. Let's get to it. Bitches, Ashley has no idea that I'm recording on her brand new camera. I just wanted to come in and tell you guys that it's lit. It's about to get real. You're about to see the shit that we do. You already know. And yeah, stay tuned. We are tiptoeing a little bit because the whole lot is still here. But it's going to be good. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. I also have some tea for you. Yeah, tea? Yeah, so the tea is. She said, yeah. Tea? Friends. Gather. Gather. Gather, gather, gather around. Gather. 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 <laughs> Don't say that. Yeah. You want your name? He's a fucking liar. <laughs> okay, so. He might have. I don't know. Gather. Um, be gather, if you gather. like to gather. Gather. Gathering. Gathering. <laughs> gather. So, we went. We went in the rooms. <laughs> Is there a sex swing? No. No. That would have made There's, things a lot more spontaneous. It's an Airbnb. Oh. But it's like, how, I, I maybe don't want to see Maybe it. he just didn't want, maybe he just didn't want us to mess up the room. <laughs> maybe. I yeah. think the rooms were really messed up. Yeah. Because yeah. he was like, I need to go fix it up. Yeah. And when we went up there, there's no sheets on the bed. No, it's like and not And the dressers are giving oh. good oil. <laughs> <laughs> So we won't be linking this space <laughs> down below. <laughs> And just like that, it's a wrap, ladies and gents. It's a wrap, 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 wrap. Whoa. <laughs> We're the worst. Okay, you guys, it is the next day, and my body is so sore. I haven't done one of those like long, like fully shoot days in a minute, and I forgot how exhausting it is, truly. Like you wake up feeling, at least me, I wake up feeling like I just did a week's worth of workouts in like 10 hours. But yeah, so last night, Meech and I went to see Spider-Man um, and we left mom at home, obviously. And when we got home, the bitch unwrapped all of my Christmas gifts under the tree. All of the gifts Meech had already wrapped for me. Not all of them. One is a really big box. So she unwrapped two, but she didn't just unwrap them. She also chewed up the boxes that the items were in. So she's on punishment right now. I have her up in my office, but she was in her crate for quite a while because that is just unacceptable. I think it's, I mean, she's an English bulldog, so it's like a separation anxiety thing, but we gotta figure that shit out because we were gone for three hours, like max. That's a little ridiculous. It's so weird because some, like she, most of the time she's fine, absolutely fine, but then I don't know. She gets a little bug up her ass and she decides to tear up anything in her sight. And the only thing that we really left out, because <clears throat> we've made it a habit to like put packages away, anything in the front that she can like get to put away so that she has like no options. But yeah, I guess we didn't <laughs> consider the gifts under the tree, which are very accessible to her. Um, I'm glad she doesn't fuck with the tree at all, but still, not fun. So now I know all my Christmas gifts a week before Christmas. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, you guys, I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here because I feel like we got some good footage, a whole makeup tutorial in the midst of it. Mamba, okay, you're just playing, but like give mommy 30 seconds. Okay, yeah, I gotta go. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Get ready for more vlogs, more content. Now that I have an editor, I'm super excited to like get back to YouTube, also with the new camera. Mamba. Thank you so much, child. It's like she knows. It's like she knows. 
she's just working on my last nerve. Is this what being a mom is like? Ugh, ghetto. Um, I love you all. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Join our family. Um, hey, hey. <laughs> my life is a mess. Let me know down in the comments what other videos you want to see from me. I love you all so much, and I will see you in my next video.